Sagadula. Sagadula. Mechkabula. Mechkabula. Makuna. Matata. Makuna. Matata. Hi ho, hi ho. Mickey and Minnie and Donald and Huey. Pluto and Goofy and Dewey and Louie. Epcot and Toontown and Plumber. That's Gooey. Everybody play the D show. Sebastian, Sarabi, Space Mountain, Cruella, Bill and Gaston, and that big hairy fella. Everybody play the D show. Try and question, try a bunch. Even if it's just a hunch. Don't know if the answer is false or true. Just try a little bit of a boo. Everybody, 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 boo. Matt Hatter, Buzz Lightyear, and Boo. Lots of Prince Charmings, but who goes with who? Let's see. Everybody play the D show. Sleepy Steezy, Sour Snacks, the White, and the rest. Join the fun, come and be our guest. Just ask for the hottest, pretty damn blue. It's a super califragilistic hullabaloo. Super califragilistic hullabaloo. From Disneyland Paris to Tokyo. Time to show us what you know. Ready, set, here we go. Everybody play the D show. With no further ado, I present your hostess with the mostest. Hi, it's time for the D Show, the game show that proves all that Disney stuff on your shelf is finally going to prove to be useful. Good luck. Let's play. <laughs> Get ready to party. Here are the categories for round one. Mickey's Choo Choo. Don't choke. The Briar Patch. Get the point. 1986. A big hair year. Choose away. The Briar Patch was Br'er Rabbit's salvation in Song of the South. But you may need saving as you answer these questions about dangerous places. You could win... 2,000 D-Bucks! Spaceships go in, but they don't come out. What celestial vacuum did the USS Palomino seek to avoid in the 1979 sci-fi film of the same name? Bingo! The Black Hole. Starring Maximilian Schell and the huggable Ernest Borgnine. Just look at it, Flip. 3,000 D-Bucks! You'll turn to sand if you step in this arid wasteland from the film Return to Oz. Name the sand trap. You're right, deadly desert. To cross it, you'll need a gump. Oh, but that's another question. And stop! <gasps> a thousand D-Bucks! Uh, kids, I'm not sure you should be here. Whoa! Isn't it great? We could get in big trouble. I know. <laughs> I wonder if its brains are still in there. There's only one way to know. Come on, let's go check it out. The only checking out you will do would be to check out of here. I'd listen to Zazu. What's the eerie place Nala and Simba should avoid? That's it! Elephant Graveyard. <gasps> oh yeah! And the hyenas almost got them. And then Mufasa showed up and... Sorry, I really like that part. The categories, please. Mickey's Choo Choo, 1986. Star Tours. <gasps> I wonder who it'll be. So, what looks good? Welcome back to our tour of Disney stars. It's time to visit a true legend. <gasps> Snow White. You'll be playing for... 1,000 D-Bucks. Snow White was there for Disneyland's opening day. Where in Fantasyland can you step inside her story? D-Buck City. Snow White's scary adventure. It tells the story of Snow White and may contain scenes too intense for children under six. Or D-Show hosts! This question's worth... 3,000 D-Bucks! Before her prince came, Snow White worked the whole day through. What was her first job before joining the dwarfs? Found it! Scullery maid. Well, we all have to start somewhere. Let's see what the next question is worth. 3,000 D-Bucks! 
Snow White takes the Big Apple by storm. Where did Snow White star in 1980's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs stage show? Got it. Radio City Music Hall. It had four extra songs that weren't even in the movie. I interrupt your regularly scheduled program to bring you a D-Show bonus round. Yay! It's time to play Picture Perfect, the game that takes a simple little picture and turns it into a brain-twisting, eyeball-bending, geometrical nightmare, also known as an eight-square slider puzzle. Listen closely. I'll present a scrambled picture that will amazingly solve itself before your eyes, but you don't want the puzzle to solve itself completely, because if you can slide together the picture in 30 seconds or less, you'll win the D-Bucks! Just buzz in when you think you can solve the puzzle, grab the mouse, and click the squares to complete the picture. The faster you solve it, the more D-Bucks you'll earn. Here's the first puzzle. Good luck. Grab the mouse! Great job! Let's see how easy this one is. Buzz in when you can solve it in 30 seconds or less. Someone buzz in! Red, grab the mouse! Oh, that was amazing! Gee, I hate to do this to you. <laughs> the wild puzzle! Buzz in when you can solve it in 30 seconds or less. Someone buzz in! It's all red! Grab the mouse! Picture perfect! I now return you to your show already in progress. The categories are... Mickey's Choo Choo. Inner Space. <gasps> I'm shrinking! Silly Symphony. <laughs> that sounds funny. Your choice. Disney made 75 Silly Symphony cartoons. But here, we'll have our own Silly Symphony with these questions about Disney musicians and their instruments. Concentrate, concentrate, big D-Bucks, big D-Bucks, and stop! 2,000 D-Bucks! Everybody wants to be a cat. Well, almost everybody. What trumpet-playing jazz legend was originally intended to play Scat Cat in the animated feature The Aristocats? Good guess, Red. Louis Armstrong. Satchmo was the one they wanted, but his schedule wouldn't allow him to do it. Spin away! Oh, this part is so exciting! 1,000 D-Bucks! If you came across Christopher Robin leading a parade with Pooh, Tigger, and Piglet, what musical instrument would he most likely be playing? Delightful! Drum. A little red one, if I remember right. Spin it, Mama! 3,000 D-Bucks! I wouldn't be caught dead at this party. Did you know that the pipe organ in this scene from the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland first appeared in a blockbuster film? Who's the organ donor? Found it! 20,000 leagues under the sea. And Captain Nemo played it beautifully. Congratulations! You made it to the halfway mark! Let's check the scores. Your score is heading straight on a path to become a Disney legend! Truly remarkable! 
Oh, you've made it to round two, where the D-Bucks are double. Let's see the remaining categories. Mickey's Choo Choo, 1986, Inner Space. Adventure through inner space shrunk guests at Disneyland. And here, you'll have to think small to answer these questions about tiny Disney characters. Big D-Bucks, big D-Bucks. 4,000 D-Bucks. She can fly, she can fly, she can fly. But I bet you don't know what Tinkerbell is. That's it, Pixie. That's why she spreads pixie dust. Flipping for D-Bucks. 6,000 D-Bucks. Before becoming bigger than life as James Bond, Sean Connery danced a jig in Darby O'Gill and the Little People. Can you name the Little People? Right, Red. Leprechauns. Lived inside of a mountain, they did. And the special effects are still amazing. This is my favorite part. 2,000 D-Bucks. Oh, come on. You guys promised me you weren't going to use this clip. He looks hurt. Oh. He saved my life. Oh, he's going to be okay. Sean. Lost a battle to a king-sized scorpion. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Auntie. Oh, he was so brave. <laughs> he tried as hard as he could. <laughs> but that scorpion was just too big. <laughs> and you saved their lives anyway. <laughs> I need a minute. <laughs> This is more nauseating than the teacups. 1986, Mickey's Choo Choo. Anything tickle your fancy? Mickey's Choo Choo was a 1929 cartoon, but here it's all about another Choo Choo, the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. This is the D-Show spin cycle. 6,000 D-Bucks! At Disneyland Paris, they could have called it Big Thunder Island since it's surrounded by the rivers of America. How do the trains get to the mountain? D-Bucks coming your way. Underwater tunnel. Wow, do you have to hold your breath? The next question is worth... 4,000 D-Bucks. There's bones in them there hills. Dinosaur bones. But what kind? Swell choice, Tyrannosaurus. It seems like you go right under the ribs. The next question is valued at... 6,000 D-Bucks. Ah, what could be more relaxing than a train ride? Hope you got a good look at the scenery. What U.S. National Park inspired the majestic setting of Disneyland's Big Thunder Mountain Railroad? Delightful! Bryce Canyon. Uh, in Florida, Paris, and Tokyo, they resemble Monument Valley. Hold everything! It's time for a D-Show bonus round! Here's an animated game I call Cellivision. All you have to do is buzz in when the character cell matches the background painting. Make the match and win a thousand D-Bucks! This match any time during the game and it'll cost you a thousand D-Bucks. Finger on your buzz-in key. Roll up. Match! Lose. We got it! Match! Tiki 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 woo! We got it! Match! Dance. 
I now return you to your show already in progress. One category left. In 1986, the studio released animated classic number 26. The game's afoot with these questions about the Great Mouse Detective. Answer correctly and you'll win 4,000 D-Bucks. The film's climax featured Basil and Radigan darting through a complex maze of gears, cogs, and flywheels inside Big Ben. What made this masterful sequence possible? Absolutely, Red. Computer-generated animation. First time this tool was used in a Disney animated feature. <gasps> round and round it goes where it stops only the programmer knows. 6,000 D-Bucks! You'll find Basil in the basement at 221B Baker Street, just downstairs from this literary sleuth. Who's Basil's neighbor? Got it! Sherlock Holmes. Elementary, my dear contestants. And the question is worth... 2,000 D-Bucks! Watch out for this guy or he'll sick his kitty on you. Right, Radigan. Voiced by the legendary Vincent Price. <laughs> Looks like it's time for that defibrillator. The round that separates the mice from the men. Sometimes it's hard to tell the truth. Just ask Pinocchio. Especially during the defibrillator. It's here you'll have 60 seconds to tell me whether 15 Disney facts are true or false. The first player to answer correctly will be awarded 2,000 D-Bucks. If your answer is incorrect, you'll lose 2,000 D-Bucks. And remember, there's no time to waste. Answer as soon as you spot a truth or a fib. Press your buzz-in key if you think the fact is the truth, or press the key to the right of it if you spot a fib. Mickey, give me 60 seconds on the clock. Bambi never grew antlers. Tim Conway was Amos in the Apple Dumpling Gang. On opening day, Disneyland welcomed over one million guests. Oliver was the last kitty in the box. Walt Disney never appeared on television. Chip is Dale in Australia. Mickey Mouse Magazine debuted in 1933. The Radiant Suzanne Plachette was the voice of Flower. Ariel married Prince Eric because the glass slipper fit. Guests dine at California Grill atop the Contemporary Resort at Walt Disney World. Walt Disney had two offices at the Burbank Studios. Cruella de Vil has three pet terriers. Gosel and Mallard is Drake, Mallard's niece. The Black Cauldron is narrated by John Huston. Sebastian is a spiny lobster! Stop the clock! Look at that score, it barely fits on the screen. You're remarkable. Make sure to join me again. I'll be right here, scanning the world for the best of Disney trivia. Until then, remember what Ursula said to Chef Louie. No, I wouldn't like any calamari. See you real soon, right here on The D Show. Salagadula. Salagadula. Mechagabula. Mechagabula. Hakuna. Matata. Hakuna Matata. Hi-ho, hi-ho. Mickey and Minnie and Donald and Huey. Ludo and Goofy and Dewey and Louie. At Con and Toontown and Plumber, that's gooey. Everybody play the D Show. Sebastian, Sarabi, Space Mountain, Cruella, Bill and Gaston, and that big hairy fella. Everybody play the D show. Try a question, try a bunch. Even if it's just a hunch. Don't know if the answer is false or true. Just try a little bit. Lots of Prince Charmings, but who goes with who? Let Cinderella's the one with the shoe. Everybody play the D show. Sleepy Sneezy, Sour Sense, the White, and the rest. Join the fun, come be our guest. Just ask Pocahontas, Brigida, and Blue. It's a super califragilistic hullabaloo. Super califragilistic hullabaloo. From Disneyland Paris to Tokyo. Time to show us what.
don't you know? Ready, set, here we go. Everybody play the D show. 